Hello and welcome to Smart Market Insights on Calkine TV. I'm Holly and today we'll be looking at how disruptions in the supply chain have left customers of food businesses frustrated due to nationwide shortages. It's become increasingly evident in the past couple of weeks that the Omicron variant of COVID is posing a major problem for the Australian supply chain, with some businesses having been left with no food for customers. Specifically, the chicken shortage brought about by the supply chain woes has resulted in a number of KFC outlets vastly reducing their menu options. And it's unclear when this issue will be remedied. One particular KFC restaurant in Perth reportedly has a sign outside its store alerting customers to the absence of original chicken, zingers, fillets or wings on their menu due to shortages brought about by these issues. KFC stores have addressed this issue on the website, saying that, like many Australian businesses, their supply chain and workforce have been adversely affected by COVID-19. However, they've promised that they're working towards getting back to frying everyone's favourites as soon as possible. A few KFC customers have expressed their frustrations on social media, with one customer posting on the KFC Facebook page claiming they haven't been able to order their iconic Wicked Wings for two weeks now. Others took to Twitter to voice their disappointment, with one claiming that a large portion of KFC stores along with the Victorian and New South Wales border have been closed altogether due to shortages. On Monday, the National Cabinet endorsed new guidelines for workers in critical supply chains, including food delivery. Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced the changes, saying it would allow close contacts between those working in food and grocery production to be able to work under certain requirements if they are met. Morrison then assured Australians that these changes had been approved by the Australian Health Protection Principal Committee. However, those workers will be required to get a negative rapid antigen test result on the first day and then take further tests every second day until day six. The PMM also said that the government would also be scrapping mandatory testing requirements for employees of small to medium businesses. Woolworths and Coles supermarkets are also being adversely affected by the new Omicron variant of COVID. And Australia's Chief Medical Officer, Professor Paul Kelly, said that the Woolworths and Coles absenteeism rate has been between 30 and 50 percent, resulting in empty supermarket shelves and meat shortages. Kelly also said that he's looking into whether supply shortages had been caused by this absenteeism, I should say, or a shortage of close contact workers, and said that it was a mixture of both. The Omicron variant has been by far the worst contagious so far, which has caused major disruptions to the Australian economy. Fortunately, the side effects of this variant appear to be much more mild, and hopefully a herd immunity combined with a high vaccination rate will result in more close contact workers being able to return to work. Well, that is all for now on Smart Market Insights, but we'll be back next time for more. Tune in for those market updates only on Calcane TV. This is Holly Shields signing off.